Moyak Fishing Series. River Challenge. We're here at Beaver Creek up by Bradleyville in Taney County. And uh, Eric and Jim are already down the river somewhere. They camped on the river, so we gotta go find them. It's supposed to be some really big smallmouth, big largemouth. We're looking forward to it. Had a little bit of a difficulty getting here. Uh, uh, had a detour that we were supposed to take because some of the some of the creeks had washed some of the roads out. I missed the detour, had to backtrack about 20 minutes, so we're late getting here. Go figure. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> launching right now, as you can see, should be on the water momentarily and catching fish. All right, here we go. Molly? No. Guadalupe. Guadalupe. I hate those fish. Guadalupe <laughs> salmon trout <laughs> with a little red horse sucker. <laughs> There are no Guadalupe. Yeah, that's a picture that. Is that one? I just had a hit. <laughs> I had a big bite over there. Probably should, but not You see me get my popper hung up in that tree? <laughs> I did not do that earlier. I hit it, but it wasn't I was trying to break it off and then it wouldn't break, so I was like, I'll just pull on it and see if it comes out. It came out. There Brought a branch with me. Zach is, uh, Who did? Zach did? Good one? Oh, I'm ready to go <laughs> Oh, you just wait. It's supposed to be like 95 today. I went out there yesterday. Yeah. And the heat usually don't bother me. Within an hour, I was done. Well, the humidity is just crazy. It killed me. When you turn 50, I guess you just can't take it. <laughs> You're done. You got to stay inside, Jim. Well, the humidity is like over 90%. Oh, it was just depressing. We were right by a pool, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's even worse. A uh, long guy came and jumped in fully clothed. Dirty. Left a big black cloud. Yeah. There's one. Largy. I reeled all the way down to it. <laughs> He's not that big. So I'll throw him on the board. Where we launched was Bradleyville, yeah. um, deep inside the Mark Twain National Forest. And so, so there was one place to launch, and I think you had to travel probably five or six miles down river before you actually start getting into you know, areas where you're going to see some people and some roads and things like that. So we were in the forest where we launched. But, uh, you know, 
the beginning of the float was again kind of slow but but it was a pretty float uh, we started catching more fish there towards the end the water started picking up too we started hitting more rapids it seemed uh, to get a little clearer too yeah it was a little muddy when we first put in yeah yeah you know so but anyway you know <clears throat> i i was fishing fast that, I was fishing slow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's just the way I fish. I mean, I was throwing a little little bomber crankbait, little uh, green craw, and uh, you know, so I was fishing through the fast water, and I was having more success in the fast water. You know, in the slower water, I couldn't get anything to hit my crankbait or, or anything else I was throwing fast, even even a spinnerbait. I did catch I did catch one or two on a spinnerbait throughout the day, but most of my fish came off the crankbait. And, uh, and you didn't get anything till later on in the trip, for the most part. Well, I was catching some smaller ones early on. Yeah, and, you know, but but. But nothing to really put on the board. I mean, I mean, we're, we're talking like eight, nine inches. Yeah. So I just get. I will say right off the bat that. There's probably not much footage for me because there really isn't any footage of me because I didn't take a camera. I, I'm new to river floating, didn't feel comfortable, didn't want to have an expensive GoPro and stuff with me on the water. So I didn't take my camera. So most of the footage you're going to see is what Brian got. I think Zach might have got a little bit, but uh, most of it is what Brian got for us on, on the trip. So. Uh I've been putting them on the board because I've been waiting for bigger fish. But all these eight to ten inches, I'm going to put on the board now. Fourteen. That's the only one I put on the board. Yeah. I'm catching all my fish on crankbait. Paddle back upstream, sitting in this little little eddy. Shoot back out there. Fish, the current's pushing me down. Yeah, it's pushing me down pretty fast. Okay, finally got that fish on the board, paddled back up, let's see if we can get into another, another one here.
my god. It's a big one. Well, I mean... <laughs> Boom! Woo! He's coming with me downstream. Oh man, you just came unhooked. Excellent. Stop. <laughs> did, did you see that? I, I was turned backwards. That was. That was a fiasco, but it was a fun fiasco. Dad, he caught one too back there. This is where they're hitting in the, in, in the fast stuff behind the, uh... Oh, they're suckers, man. They bite you. There we go. They're going to wonder what... Yeah, I mean, for me, uh, I, the jig has kind of taken over my, my repertoire here lately. I mean, I've really been loving the jig. I was using a green pumpkin orange uh, jig that I've been using a lot. I love the color. It works well, especially on the, it seems like the streams around here, the craw that I've seen are usually brown and orange or green and orange. Yeah. So that, that was really for me what I went with. And I pretty much stuck with that all day. I tried the yeah. crankbait a little bit like you and didn't have any luck, but for me, the jig right up uh, on shore next to lay downs under the big boulders. So Zach, our cameraman, he uses Ned rig all the time. And uh, I know that he used that pretty much all day, and he was—he caught quite a few fish. Wouldn't you say, Zach? Give me a yes. Nobody's going to see you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's nodding his head. Yes, but he—he uh, he caught a bunch of fish that day, and he—he he tends to do that when we go out. He catches a bunch. Sometimes the size isn't as big, but sometimes he does get the big ones. But he—he yeah. he was having a good day, and for me, I was catching some decent ones. But I remember one—one one smallie I got was uh, it was a wide channel. And it was uh, kind of a channel swing along the bank with a bunch of the big rocks. And I, I threw my jig right up there underneath a big old boulder and he just hammered it. Yeah. Just took it and it was gone and it was game on. So in those smallmouth, uh, I can't, I don't think there's much better uh, than catching a smallmouth on a, on a creek or a river. It's just the fight that they put on is, is terrific. <laughs>